Before you are two different methods of using the crack key method of non-circulating hydroponics. The container on the bottom right is a large 27 gallon black tote that has enough nutrient solution to pour that basil plant for the entire season. And to the left, the five gallon green buckets illustrates how to use a gravity feed float valve to continually provide enough nutrient solution for those tomato plants. You would not think that the uh, five gallon buckets would have enough nutrient solution to last the entire season and you would be correct. These five gallon buckets have a bucket top net pot that's six inches in diameter and the uh, media that you see packed around the bottom of the tomato plant is actually synthetic. So there is no dirt that's being used here. I set the uh, net pot with the tomato plant into the five gallon bucket and the nutrient solution is filled to where it surrounds the net pot leaving a little gap at the top for air and the bottom of which is in contact with the nutrient solution. This patio variety of tomato plant only gets about 24 inches in height. It's a determinant variety. It puts on all of its fruit over just a, a couple short weeks and it's done for the season. What you'll find though is that even with such a tiny plant that it uses more nutrient than what this five gallon bucket will hold. As the tomato plant starts to put out roots, the bottom tips of the roots will feed upon the water and the nutrient while the upper parts of the roots will do the gas exchange functions of the plant. A simple half inch rubber grommet that has been inserted through a hole that I've drilled in the bottom part of the bucket has a hose barb that comes out and connects to a pond tubing which I picked up from a local Lowe's hardware store and that is what connects those three buckets together. And between the two outer buckets what you'll find is instead of a 90 degree elbow I have a T fitting with the tubing extending off in both directions. A shutoff valve allows me to turn off the water supply to those buckets for maintenance and this large 32 gallon trash can full of nutrient solution is the reservoir that feeds those three buckets. Nutrient water exits the bottom of that 32 gallon container and feeds into the side of a smaller black bucket. Inside the black bucket is a float valve that controls the exit of water through the other side of the bucket. Inside of this smaller bucket is a half inch Carrick float valve. You can tell that when the water comes out of the 32 gallon bucket, it goes through the float valve, which will shut off as the float valve rises up. So at whatever point you drill the hole through the bucket to insert the float valve, that presets the level of the nutrient that goes to the other buckets. So the question becomes, as those tomato plants grow and their root systems get larger, it's good to give them additional air space and a slightly lower nutrient level. So how do I do that? I use these stepping stones. By using two stepping stones to start out with, it puts my nutrient level exactly at the bottom of those net pots. As the roots grow, I pull one of those stepping stones out, and once again later in the season, I pull the final uh, stepping stone out, and that sets the nutrient level about uh, one-third of the way up on each of those green buckets. By configuring the buckets this way, each of the tomato plants grows in unison, and the root structures remain fairly consistent across all three buckets. This system can be used for not only tomatoes, but also peppers, coal crops, and several uh, other varieties of vegetables as well as flowers. So if each one of these tomato plants takes up 55 gallons of nutrient throughout the season, I don't have to worry about having enough nutrient in each of the five gallon buckets as long as I have the reservoir filled up with enough nutrient to refill each of the buckets as needed. The nutrient in the 32 gallon container is not aerated but does not go so stagnant that it becomes a problem. As a matter of fact, this gravity feed system is sufficient for all my needs.